It's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen. another edition of demonology today with grizzly on the hunt with mr dennis carroll how you doing mr carroll all right how's everything doing fine hello crazy witch hello pamela hello tess h twisted witch hello hopefully you're feeling better so how's your weekend going well yeah carroll? pretty good uh, been very busy always i'm always up to something Usually it's it's pretty good. Sometimes it's not good, but anyway, <laughs> isn't that true? It's always something to do. Definitely. How about you? How's your weekend been? I know you've been uh, busy too. That's uh, always it, it's SOS, same old stuff, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, always. Welcome, Chad. Welcome to the show. Hello there. We're getting ready to talk about some uh, interesting topic here. Uh, so oh yeah, we've been we talking about. Uh, off and on we have for the past couple of months now so oh yeah so yeah. artificial intelligence uh i've sent you a couple of articles uh last night and today or last night i think i, I don't remember I, I i couldn't sleep so uh yeah. but isn't that wild how they are coming up with this ai to where you can thank it and it writes it uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, like, your thoughts are not going to be your own pretty soon. You know they're going to belong to somebody else if you don't watch out. You know, and here's the here's the ultimate invasion of privacy, Chris. Your thoughts. Think about that. I mean, it doesn't get any worse than that. Uh, and, and like I said, uh, you know, when I answered you back when I watched that, and it was mind blowing. Uh, you know, uh, this is the perfect tool for the thought police. You know, they want that to police is. your thoughts. Hey, Perfect Ron. thing for it. Yeah. So I sent uh, Mr. Carroll an article. Uh, it 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 relates to that this artificial intelligence, AI, is that they have developed to where you can thank it and it will put it into words. You don't <laughs> even have to say it. You don't have to say, Siri. Or Alexa. I don't know why I said that. Now she's going to talk. Uh -huh. Well, uh, 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 I'll tell you this, okay? Listen about this. Uh, this is a wonderful thing if you use it the right way. This would help paraplegics. This might help people walk again. People that were stroke victims to be able to talk again and, and move. All uh, kids this with is autism, wonder kids with disabilities. Wonderful thing. But the, yeah. but the problem is, though, Mr. Carroll, we always have the good intentions. It's the people that are evil that use it to weaponize it for the wrong intentions and to use it against humanity. Absolutely. That's the problem. Absolutely. And what road is paved with good intentions, my friend? The road to hell. Yeah. Uh, uh, unfortunately, man is, is, is imperfect. Mankind is imperfect. Uh, and it's never going to do anything in a way of perfection. And perfection does not breed perfection. It just doesn't work that way. That's the law of the universe, okay? Uh, it takes perfection to make perfection. And imperfection makes only imperfection. That's just the way that goes. And whenever we make something, even with the best intentions, 
it can turn on us and bite our rear end in the end, you know, because we, we, we start out that way, but it never ends that way. And, and we have that feeling. I think a lot of mankind has that feeling. The ends justify the means, you know, and, and it really doesn't. That's not true, but that's the way they look at it. You know, and that's that includes AI. You know, uh, I've talked sh several shows back about dark science, and that's what this is. We're talking about here tonight. This is the ultimate dark science. This is the Frankenstein of the modern age because of what it can do. Like I said a minute ago, it's a wonderful thing. If it's used correctly, it may cure diseases. It may do a lot of things. This is a a big boon to mankind if it will be used properly, but as you and I well know, Chris, it ain't going to go that way. Uh, here's the bad thing, and this is what they're warning about. If AI, when it becomes operational, I'm going to tell you a story in a minute about this. If it becomes operational, it becomes known to itself. It becomes what we call a sentient being. In other words, you realize this, it exists. You know, that, it's like that old saying, remember the statue of the thinker, you know, the guy with his hand thinking, and it says beneath it, I am, I think, therefore I am. I exist. And when, when AI finds this out, AI is going to say to itself, oh, well, I'm better than my creator. Okay, I'm better than my creator. I'm smarter. I think faster than he does. And the only threat to me is my creator. Therefore, I should take out my creator. Take that out of the equation. Well, actually, they've actually came across that problem two or three times. Uh -huh. uh, Sarah, you are right. I do agree with that concept that you said. Thomas, you got to go back and watch the last show. You will be blown away, uh, Thomas, on the last show. Just letting you know. But Sarah, yeah, it is like it, it like the Matrix. But the problem is, is that, you know, they already had to shut down AI two or three times in the past six months, allegedly that we know of, which we know it has been more than that. OK, because they wanted to take control of the, the human race. They didn't want the human race to exist. They wanted control of all the nuclear weapons. And we can go on and on about it. So, you know, it, it, now it's awakening itself, deciding that we are not good for ourselves. We are destroying our own mankind. And it, like I said on other shows, is that when I said the, you know, the God Fargo man playing God, right? And want to be in mortality and in and, and, and moral and, and the, being the God game. Yes. Yeah. You know, Jurassic Park, that was going to happen. And then Terminator, I'm, I said it was going to happen. And everybody laughed. And now, lo and behold, things that were coming to pass. And I think we are past that point where we are in no return. And I don't remember what it's called when you're flying in an airplane or a helicopter. Whoever is out there that is in aviation, there is a point of no return, wherever they nickname it. But I think we'll I, pass that. It's that point where you, you don't have the fuel to get back. That is correct. That's the, path, the point of no return. Yeah. Uh, well, let me say this, okay? And here's the interesting thing. You know, the headlines are writing this program, Demonology Today. Every day, there's more and more to it. It's just writing our show for us, okay? Here's the thing, the most interesting thing about this. This happened the other day. I want you to listen to this story. This is true. There's nothing made up now. This really did happen. They sent a drone out, a drone that was controlled by AI to a target. Okay? And they reward AI with points. You know, you get so many points if you do something right. You know, it's, a, it's like a social system for AI. And say, AI, if you take this target out, you'll get you know, so many points. So it started out, the drone went to the target, and the operator stopped it, said, okay, abort mission, you know, abort mission, come back to base. AI said, no, I won't get any points. So AI turned the, the drone around and went to take out the operator. What? He went to take out the operator and said, I've got, if I remove the operator, then I can go back and take care of my target and get my points. 
Wow. That's what you're dealing with here. That's the wow. problem. Might as well just go ahead and give a dog treats then. So, well, I'll tell you something. Uh, let me say something, Ron, about what you're saying. There, writers are only good right enough writers if they do their research. Research is everything when it comes to writing. And these writers that do the movies and the stories, they do their research and they have connections that you and I possibly don't have sometimes. So that's why it seems that they can be so prophetic sometimes that way. And, Ron, there are actually uh, protests going on in Hollywood because of AI and the stuff that they are not using them because they have AI. Why should I pay you where I can get it for free and pay just a regular monthly subscription or yearly fee? Uh, yearly fee, yearly yeah. fee, if I can speak. Uh, uh, Sarah, you're saying with intelligent will desire. I don't think we're at that level just yet, Sarah. Unfortunately, we are past that level. The technology that the service has, the military, are 30 to 50 years in advance than what they are leading on to. Uh, uh -huh. They already have this technology. Now, the technology we have is just a fraction. Now, what I have read on the AI that's been released to us has only read up to 3% of the Internet. Only 3%. Now, I broke down uh, last month, and I play with AI, and let me tell you something. It is freaky, but interesting. But if I was a writer and a publisher or a TV commercial maker, I'm not needed anymore. Uh, if Mr. Carroll was my uh, spokesperson to do on my uh, introductions to my company uh, onboarding, for my new clients or my new uh, customer service reps or employees, I don't need him anymore. I can go out and pick out uh, whoever I hey, want, I, ethnic background, hey, and type hey, I, whatever I, I want, and they will use his image or, or a image or whatever I choose and talk uh -huh. whatever language, accent, just like me. Or I can change it. And make it sound like anything that I want, and I'll have to pay him or to redo it over and over. And it, it, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, this stuff is scary, and it's 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 going to cost millions and millions of people's jobs. Oh yeah, man. you know we already got take McDonald's a, running. Just on take for, just, just take example for one example, McDonald's. McDonald's, yes, you're not gonna deal. You're, you're not gonna be dealing with people anymore. You're gonna be dealing with robots and AI. It's gonna be sitting there. It's gonna be dark. You know, we call it going dark. In other words, they won't need lights. It's gonna be completely automated. You know, that's what you and and look at all the people that's gonna lose their jobs because of that. That's just one one company. Think about all the others out there. That's coming, folks. That's the future. Your future. It's not a science fiction anymore. It's 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 fact. So the learning capabilities that of AI, the ones that we know of, is self learning, self taught. It is picking up the stuff that is already out there on the internet and teaching itself. So anything that's been published, encyclopedias, dictionaries, yeah. whatever, uh, it's learning. USA Today, Psychology Today, any medical... And here's another report, thing, Chris. It is learning here's a, itself. Here's another thing, okay? When you couple AI with quantum computers, it will outthink us 10 to 1. So it could read that book. It would take you ever how long it takes you to read a book. AI could read that book in five minutes and remember every bit of it. How we used to buy that. What was that book that was yellow when we used to cheat and didn't read the book? What was that thing called when we were younger? You used uh, to buy it at Walmart. What was it? The Cliff Notes? Was that was it called Cliff Notes or something? Yeah, yeah, Cliff Notes, yeah. Yeah. They you gave you read the book a summary. And, it was a summary yeah, of a book. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah. So I I not we all use that at one time or another and cheated. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. 
Wow. But this AI stuff, I'm telling you, it is it is getting freaky and scary. Look at uh, look at how we used to have to cram for tests when we were kids in school, you know, and it was so hard to Thank soak you, up Sarah. those. Yes. AI has, does not have that problem. It remembers everything. It never. It doesn't forget anything. It remembers everything, and it's right there. It has a complete photographic memory, right there in its fingertips on everything. It can go through the libraries of the world. Now think about this just a minute, folks. If it goes through the libraries of the world, learns every bit of that, it's going to know a thousand times more than what you do. It's going to be able to speak in different languages. It's going to be able to compute mathematical equations that you couldn't even touch. Uh, and it's no. going to do it. It's going to do it so quickly at the blink of an eye. Well, look at Kroger's, look at Walmart, look at these local grocery stores years ago to create their own self-checkout to save uh -huh. on in employment labor and health costs and, uh -huh. and all that other stuff, health insurance, you know, uh -huh. and they trained us to, to check ourselves out and we still didn't get a discount. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and, you know, like what we said a, a few minutes ago, this is a wonderful tool, okay? Because you can have an AI to do your studying and do all this stuff for you and, and correlate facts and present them to you. It's a great tool, but it won't be used that way, unfortunately. I wish it would be. I mean, it would be a big help to all of us in that way. But we might get little good things out of it, but in the end, like you said earlier, Chris, it will be weaponized. It's already being weaponized. Yes, it has. Uh -huh. It is. It will be. It will continue to be. Why should I have to worry about a person flying a plane or a jet? Worry have to about how many hours in the air, using the bathroom, feeding, sleeping, all that stuff. I mean, for Lord's sakes, we already got cars that drive themselves, but... When there's an accident in the middle of the road and you have to go around it, the car doesn't know what to do. The car stops. Well, think about this a minute. You get in the back of your car and you sit down and you say, uh, I want to go to Starbucks, have my regular coffee waiting on me when I get there. And it'll take you straight there. You don't have to drive. You can read your book or whatever you're doing, play on your phone while, you, while the car takes you there. And when you get there, they'll have your coffee ready. People's going to love that, okay? But look what it's doing to humanity. It's making us lazy. It's making us insentient beings. We're just, we're just giving in to this stuff. We're becoming even more slaves to our technology. So we had a bad storm, Mr. Carroll, not too long ago, a couple of months ago. And it, we were without power for about four days, almost four and a half days. I was broadcasting my shows live because I had the necessary equipment to broadcast everything without power. I had access to the, the internet and stuff, generators, ran everything, my studio and everything else I needed. And people did not know what to do because they had no food at home and they had to go to town to get something to eat. But the problem was, is that the fast food places, hey, Midwest Night Watchers, wasn't they were open down. because they didn't yep. have no power. So now they yep. didn't know what to do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's why God has freezers. And that's why men have grills. Okay. And I hate to say it that way. But nobody has anything in ration or in store for any type of emergencies or so forth. Yes, Sarah, I do agree with you. People do not know how to cook anymore. No, no. Uh, they don't. And that's what they depend on is fast food. Here's the bad thing, Chris. The people in charge of AI and all this can't even tell you what a woman is. They can't give you a new definition of a woman, okay? Uh, no, hold on a minute. I'm gonna tell you, let me, let me, 
let me say this, okay? If, if, if I was a woman, I would be very, very offended by that, okay? Look how long it has taken you ladies to get where you are today, to, to, to get the vote and to be equal and, and, and all, and to get the right pay and all this stuff. And look what these flunkies are doing to you. They're debasing you know, the fact that you're a woman. They don't even come, they don't even acknowledge that. Uh, to me, that that's just, that's bad. That's just getting very bad to me. And, and if I were a woman, I would be very, very offended by that. Definitely. Okay. But that's what kind of people you got in charge of this thing. here. Okay. They can't even give you the definition of, they don't even know what bathroom to use. Okay. Or pronouns to call you with. Uh, they're stuck on all this stuff. And yet they're missing the big things here. You know, the real story of everything. That's what really bugs me is the hypocrisy of it all, Chris. It's mind staggering. It's mind blowing. You know, that, that's the problem. And I'm tired of nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs. You know, I, it, I don't care what you are, what you want to be. You know, don't force that's your it decision. Down. Don't force it down me. Don't force it down my throat. Don't force it on my kids, okay? Do what you want to do. That's You, you answer to whoever you ha have to answer to. I don't, You know, I'm not that type, and I'll never be that type. I'm not racist, okay? You know, and, and if you want to talk about racist, I got African-American in my family. So we can, I, I can debate. I can, I can have some conversations. But when it comes to things about reality and facts in life and uh -huh. people's responsibilities and where we're going to end up in the future and people are blind, we got some issues, ladies and gentlemen. That's the problem. And that's where, that's where I stand. Well, that's now I'm going to, I'm going to bring up the demon word here. Okay. Because that's uh, what is behind a lot of this stuff, okay? We've got to realize that, that the demonic, the darkness, whatever name you want to tack it with, whatever label you want to put on it, whatever you're comfortable with. They're running the big show behind the scenes. They're pushing and pulling the strings of the rich people, the very rich elite, who are the ones that really run this world. And they have divided us class-wise, racial-wise, they have divided us for one simple reason and one reason alone. They set us against each other because divided, we are easily conquered. Divided, we are easily controlled. And that's what this is all about. They use this uh, so-called inherent racial, racist stuff. They use all this to turn us against each other. Don't buy the lie, folks. Don't don't play their game, okay? The God game I talked about. That's what it is. Don't play that because that's what it's all about when it comes to racism and all that. Racism is nothing but the weapon that they use against us, all of us, no matter what color we are, no matter where we come from, no matter what religious persuasion we are or sex we are. They're using it against all of us because it's all about control. That's what it comes down to. And AI is going to be their perfect tool to control us with. That's what's coming. It's going to happen. It's our Secularism way. is a out an offshoot of the demonic. That's what's behind a lot of this stuff. Whether you believe in demons or not, they believe in you. And they are the ones that are really pulling the strings. They are the darkness behind the inhuman element of human evil. That's what's driving all this because I have seen this. I'm not lying to you. They are real. I've seen these things face to face. I wasn't hallucinating. I wasn't on drugs. I'm not insane. I'm perfectly mentally capable to tell you that I've seen things that will blow your mind. These things are real, folks. They're not made up. They're not some kind of weird philosophy. They are real, and they do exist, and they are a part of this world. And until you realize that, you'll never know what the real game is. 
See, sir, I, I believe you are right to a certain extent. I do believe what, what you just said in the last part. I do believe that, yes. But I think that what they are doing is they're taking our culture and they are twisting that and using that against us is, is what he's, he's, he's oh, trying yeah. to explain. And when we talk about stuff, and if you watch the other shows, we talk about companies like CERN, right? The the 666s and the swirl uh, that uh-huh. everybody made me Google and learn. Uh, we talk about, uh, what was that, Apollo Church or the Paulian Church? Uh, Church of Apollyon. Yeah. Apollyon, yeah, the Paulian. And, uh-huh. you know, and, and, and we take what we call in law enforcement because we're both, you know, been in law enforcement that the, the totality, which is uh-huh. everything as a whole and uh-huh. look at everything, the totality of the circumstances, you know, this is where we come up with some of our conclusions. And what exactly. we are here is to bring forth the information that we see and to bring it out to light for everybody to digest and to learn from. Now, we're not saying, you know, to follow our light, to follow our path. We're 100% right. You know, we are the way, the the, the highway, right? We're we're human. We're infallible, too. But we can share our experiences with you and what we do know and the research that we have done and like I say, you don't, you know, I said this a few shows back. You don't have to believe what we say. You don't have to believe that. But do your research yourself and you'll see what we're talking about. It's there. It's very plain. Don't lie to yourself. Open yourself up to it. It is there. It is real. And here's the problem about it all. When you're dealing with the human element, you've got to bring that demon card to the table. Because they are the ones that, like I said earlier, they control a lot of the human stuff going on in this world. They are the inhuman influence behind it. Just like the rich are. The rich are the tools of these things as well. The very rich elite uh, have been running this world and this planet since day one. Okay? That's, that's true. Follow the money, folks. It's there. You know, you will see it. That's what's really going on. I want to say this for Sarah. And Sarah, we're happy you're here. And we're always, we're we're never telling anybody the right or wrong. We're always here for discussion and debate. We always value everybody's opinion. Because Uh that's why we're here is for you all and you all for us. We're not not here pointing fingers. We're Uh trying to expose everything. Because it's Uh sad is what we're being fed is a bunch of BS and lies. Right, right. Don't buy the lie. You know that that's what we've got to watch out for, and that's what they're selling us. This this uh, a set of goods here that are that are rank and they stink for the high heavens. Okay, don't buy this stuff because they are using this as tools against us. It's all about control, people. That's what it's all about. One, it's like you know that picture you always see of the big fish in the water swallowing the other fish and the smaller yeah, fish and so on and so on. That's what this world is. Okay, that's what's behind all of this is the is, is that is that food chain there, you know, you might say. And and here's the bad thing about it. We have become complacent a lot with this. We just say, oh, well, it's not, it's not my problem. It's not. Oh, but it's going to be your problem in the future, unfortunately. OK, it's coming. I don't want to be doom and gloom here. OK, but let's look at the let's look at the facts. What's ahead, folks? It's not going to be good. It's not. I'm sorry to say it. I wish we could have a utopia that's coming and that all of our problems will be solved or our space brothers will show up in their flying saucers and save all of us. Let me ask you a question, okay? And you think about this and answer it honestly yourself. If America goes down tonight, who's going to save it? Who's going to come and save us? Nobody is. Nobody's Nobody. gonna show. Now, <laughs> That's it, folks. China Nobody or another country goes down. We will go save them right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We will send them money. We will send them food. We'll mm-hmm. we'll send them medical supplies, anything they need, even military grade weapons and weapons, whatever they need. And but I, I guarantee you, they're not going to do that for us. It's not going to happen. You can't depend on it. So when we stumble and fall, 
the world will fall after us because we won't be there. And we've, you know, well, we funded NATO all these years. We send billions of dollars every day, just like that, that agreement they signed the other day to keep us from defaulting. But look at the billions that are going overseas to the different countries. Okay? When we're not there anymore, everybody's going down, folks. That's, that's the way it is. And, and what you see happening in this country today is not good at all. It's not just communism. It's not just satanic. It is a rot from the inside. That's what it is. That's the way the Roman Empire fell. The great and, and the great empire of the world fell just the same way. And that's what you see coming. Because we have become slaves. We are born slaves from the beginning of our lives to the day they put us under. We are slaves. You can't see the chains. They are invisible. But they're just stronger than invisible chains, my friends. And they've got us right where they want us. That's the way it goes. And we've got to understand what's really going on in this world. Whatever, whoever you want to blame for it, whether it's like me, like I say, it's the demonic, who's a lot behind, I think a lot behind a lot of this stuff, or the evil in men's hearts, whatever the situation is, it's not going to end good, okay? It's going to come to a bad end. Now, and just like we're talking what about tonight with AI, you know, AI is not going to go good. Do you know what the great American experiment is? Because I'm not aware of that. Maybe I know by a different term or a different language. Sarah, if you can help me out on that, I'd greatly appreciate it. So, well, the great American experiment basically was democracy. Uh, you know, the, the, okay. and, I just want to make sure and, that's, that's, yeah, and, yeah. Well, now, well we lost. I don't think that is here any longer. I think that's out the window. I think everything's well, uh, been bought and paid for. I think it's all a bunch of BS. I'm not trying to get into politics on here, but I think that you actually nailed it. I think it changed uh, probably about 37 years ago or maybe a little bit longer, but that's just my opinion. Well, the Great American Experiment was a, a nation full of people, all the people and by the people. people. But it's not, right. it's not that anymore. We've lost that. That experiment went down the tubes. It, it's not working. And you know, there were certain safeguards put in the Constitution that said when this happens, you can take back control of your country. And we're not doing that. I, mean, you know, I don't see that happening, really. Uh, they're not going to let us. Look what the president come out the other day. So we've got uh, B-52 bombers. We've got nuclear weapons. What, what do you mean you're going to take this country over? See, But it says if you go back and read the decorated, it becomes the right of us to rise up against the country that no longer is for the people, all the people, and by the people. That's what the Great American Experiment was. We're a real republic and not a democracy, by the way. That's true. But we've lost that. We've lost that power. You know, I, I don't know if I told you this a couple of shows back, but when you were elected to Congress, if we elected you to the Congress right now, Chris, back in 1776, you would have served one term. You wouldn't have got paid for anything. You wouldn't got any money for it. And then you went home. What yeah. happened? What happened? They, they voted themselves in the power. They give themselves more power over us. And now we are the slaves. That's pure and simple. Norma, you are right, Norma. I do agree with you, Norma. Mid, uh, Midwest Night Watchers. Sarah, yes. That's what you see in this country today. Socialism and socialism leads to communism. They're both married. They're, they're married to each other. Okay. You can't have one without the other. That's just the way it goes. But that's what you see this country going to. That's right. And that's why it's that rot I'm talking about on the inside. And look at the moral decay. Okay. You know, look at the moral decay that's going on in this country. Do you know that there is a movement? going on right now in this country, even as I speak, that will allow people to have sex with children. Where's it going to stop, Chris? It's not. It's a moral decay, just like what happened to the Roman Empire. 
So, Sarah, you say it right? would you give AI the majority decision making ability? Um, there is a movie that we discussed uh, a couple of times on the two past previous uh, episodes. Uh, I can't remember the title. Somebody help me out. Is where the guy makes this AI uh, program off his uh, mother's expenses off her insurance that she passed. And it was so realistic, the government stepped in because they thought he was taking a child and using her to um, sell online. Basically, he was using her to, uh, what was it called, uh, catch these pedophiles. And it finally came out that she grew a conscious on her own and she knew right from wrong and she learned everything and taught herself and she hid it from humanity. And it, it and let me tell you something, and I put it on a national show that they brought me on and everybody that watched it. And I included myself. I did not touch my cell phone during the whole time during that movie. When I watched it, it really woke me up. So, uh, they don't, yeah. uh, Chris, they don't call it pedophilia. They call it minor attraction. Yeah, that is correct. I, I do apologize. Yes. So. That's very true. Uh, not all. Uh, the real God of this world is Lucifer. Satan, whatever name you want to give him. He's the one that owns this world right now. Uh, he stole it from God. He stole it from us. We could have had a wonderful wonderful existence if it wasn't for him there would be no curse everything would be just perfect but that's not the way it's going to go because of him and because of his helpers the demons whatever name you want to call them they're all in together on this they are the real rulers of darkness in this world darkness and principles and high places that's what's going on that's the adversary. That's true. He seeks. He goes about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. That's your enemy. And your enemy doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about your children he doesn't, or grandchildren or your husband or wife or your daughters or son. He doesn't care about any of that. He only cares about the power and control and finally your destruction. That's what he's out of. To do and then nothing will stop him, nothing will stand in his way if we're not if we're not careful. Mr. Carroll, have you heard the three days of darkness? Three days of darkness, yes, that's supposed to be part of the uh, uh, uh the uh, end of, of, of the world. That's one of the plagues that will visit the world. The three days of darkness, um, we've already had some impact in history, and I won't get into that right now, but. We'll talk about it some other time. There have been other days of darkness when there was no sun shining. Uh, it, and uh, there was even a summer, uh, a year without summer. Uh, they think that this darkness may be coming about due to the eruption of several volcanoes over the earth that will bring about a darkness over the whole face of the earth. Interesting. That will be part of it. So what do you think? I, I've seen the movies that people are listing out there. I've watched the movies. I've watched the movies or Artificial Girl. Uh, I think that's the name of the movie I, re, I was referring to that I went on national air on the national show uh, that I do once a week, Awake the Nation, and we talked about it, and we went back the following week, and everybody was shocked and all. Uh, but what are we actually going to do when this actually happens? And we're already seeing job loss. We're already seeing people protesting about the loss of jobs. And we're already seeing college students failing college because they're using chat. And now colleges are rewriting their curriculum to where if you are taking colleges online, now they're going to make you take your finals uh, to a local college uh, in your area, your test in person. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you cannot use artificial intelligence to pass right. a test. Mm -hmm. 
and that's going to cost you more and 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 for the people that cannot travel and the people that cannot leave their job and you know i mean how i mean it it is it 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 snowballs it's just going to keep well it's going to cause a social upheaval chris uh it's gonna it's gonna like i said the dark days are coming folks okay it's coming and you know there may be a resistance to ai and i'm talking about a military resistance or underground kind of a resistance kind of that will build up against this technology because people are going to, people's lives are going to be disrupted by it. Uh, think about if you go in tomorrow and they say, we don't need you on your job anymore. What are you going to do? Where, where's your next meal coming from? How are you going to pay your bills? You know, uh, the government's not going to take care of everybody. Uh, it's going to be a big social upheaval of reset, the great reset. You've heard, you've heard that expression, right? That's yeah. what's coming, the Great Reset. And there are going to be a lot of victims to the Great Reset, I'm sorry to say. There's going to be a bunch of us that are victims. Although, it's, And we're not talking about the victim mentality that they want to sell us so much. We're going to be actual victims this time. We're going to be the real victims in all this. And so the whole thing we've got to remember is this is going to be a complete change in the way that we see life. And the way we the way we live our lives. That's what it's coming down to. It is. So it's not gonna be know, good. I was talking to one of our fellow uh, persons that runs their own channel, a uh, very well known person we all know within our community. And uh, he is an author and he writes books. And we actually uh, had this topic, Sarah, and yeah, and there is a void in the worth ethic, and there is. And uh, and and I asked him, I'm like, what are you gonna do when people don't want to buy your books when they can write their own books? And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Demonology Today with Grizzly on the Hunt with Mr. Dennis Carroll. This edition is brought to you by Western Kentucky Bigfoot Investigations, LLC. Mr. Don Wyden, thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate you. So, sir, cliffhanger, dun, dun, dun. So, I asked him about that because he is an author. And I was like, because he actually, per day, he writes approximately anywhere between 2,800 there are 3,300 words per day for his books that he writes. Now, I can sit here and write a book probably less than 15 minutes with chat. Mm -hmm. on, yeah. any, on, on any topic, grammar free, mm -hmm. just tell it exactly Listen. what I want to write about. Let's so. look at the spiritual. Let's look at the spiritual side of this a minute, Chris. All right. Where is where is the soul in AI? Okay, you write a book, and I've written books. You put a a good sell a good deal of yourself in a book. Okay, that's the artistic part of it. Okay, or if you if you draw or make a painting, there's part of you in that. But 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 AI has no soul to it. Okay, we're talking about something that's completely soulless. And where is the true artistic? input in that you know that that's what bugs me about it 
but can you tell the difference? Because at this point, I cannot. Now, being a handwriting analysis person that I used to be able to be very well with law enforcement, you know, I used to be able to take a person's handwriting statement or, or statement that somebody would write, a confession or whatnot, and tell if somebody is being deceitful and, and analyze that. Now, uh -huh. with this AI, you can actually get around all that. Because now they know what they can and cannot say, what keywords to use and not to use. I uh -huh. mean, it, it's this is where I'm saying, where does this endless cycle stop? You know, is there a lot of beneficial and a lot of good to use for? Yes, like we talked about in the beginning. I do believe that, absolutely. But the problem is, anytime we have good, we have evil. And that's uh -huh. always been throughout history. And that's the sad part about it. Now, AI right. can develop an emotion. Is it really soulless? Now, it well, is. If, it, if, if it has morals, but they, you got to remember, these are programmed morals. Uh, this is what we put into it. And like I said, we're infallible. We're not perfect. And anything we make is not going to be perfect. So its morals are not going to be perfect. And where do you draw the line in morals when you say what's right and what's wrong, you know, with that case? It's not going to be able to make decisions like that morally only on what it knows. In other words, where is that soul part of it? Where is that spiritual aspect of it? Let me tell you something, okay? And I've known this in my career. I've actually seen cases of infect, demonically infected video games. OK, I mean, this is something I'm not making up here. And, it, and if that can happen with video games, it certainly can be a very real danger in AI. The demonic is in everything in this world. You think it's going to stop with AI? Uh, it's going to use it. Big time. But see, the problem is, is that a lot of people that you try to have a regular conversation about things, they listen to something like this and they're like, you all are so full of doo doo. You all are so far out there. And it's that five, six years from now, they're like, damn, they were really on to something. And they hey, were you know what? Yeah. Listen. we should have listened. Hey, you know what? My saying we're right. You know what my pronouns and listen to what could happen. You know what my pronouns are, Chris? I told you so. <laughs> Those are my pronouns, yeah. okay? I told you so. Yeah. I, I, I don't get any joy out of saying that, by the way. I don't want to be right on some of this. I hope I'm wrong on some of this stuff. I really do. But I don't see that happening. I'm so I'm sorry to say. And and between this and the big lie and the social disorder and the big reset that's coming, all of this is not going to come out good in the end, folks. I'm sorry to say. The demonic is not absolutely in everything, but I'm saying they are no. opportunists and they no. take advantage of any situation. That's true. They will not pass up an opportunity. That's just the way they're egomaniacs, by the way, okay? Uh, we'll have to talk about this on the show one night. The, the thinking mentality of the demonic. They are egomaniacs. They're little wannabe gods. That's what they are. Uh, and they will not stop at anything to get what they want. They thirst for it. They're like, they're like drug addicts about this stuff, okay? They're, uh, a real, they're the real egomaniacs of the universe, by the way. Uh, and they will not pass up an opportunity. They'll do whatever they they'll do. They'll do it. And this is a perfect opportunity for them. Look at it. I mean, it's wide open for them. Don't think they won't get into it. Oh, no. But, you know, what's really weird, though, not weird, what, what's concerning. So. You used to be able to. I don't know now because it's all censorship. And that's why you have DuckDuckGo and these other search platforms or search engines where you can go out there and look and not being monitored and traced and whatnot. But you used to go out and look up certain books to learn how to do certain things, right, to make certain things. And now you have chat to where the average psychopath 
can learn how to do certain things without even, I mean, now you catching where I'm coming from, ladies and gentlemen, this is the angles I'm looking at. This is the angles I'm concerned about because this stuff that we're talking about AI, it doesn't know that you are a good guy or a bad person. You ask exactly. it a question, it's going to be like, da, 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 da. And here are the instructions, and here are what you need to do to accomplish this goal. Or you and could uh, simply sit down, Chris, and say, hey, I make me an atomic bomb. I didn't want to say that out loud, but basically, that's what I was leading up to. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm. And it so would do it. For you it too, would do yeah. it. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't know what you were going to Here's the thing about it. It's not going to say, well, I would make you one, uh, Chris, but I don't know what you're going to do with it. AI is not going to ask you that question, by the way. No, it, 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 it won't. You huh. know, now, would, the, would, would AI flag the United States government, NORAD, or whatever the computer system is to be like, Dennis Carroll is looking up because that's what it used to do. The, the internet would flag people. Why are you uh -huh. looking up such and such cookbook? Why are you looking up this information? And then we'd uh -huh. spit your name and IP address out. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's so many unanswered questions, you know, you know, we always want to think about the good intentions of anybody, uh -huh. but unfortunately yeah. it's always good versus evil. We got yin, you got yang. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Sarah but says yeah. AI question or AI won't question weapons being made from 3D printers. No, you're right, Sarah. I won't. And it doesn't. Uh, I said on another show recently, we were talking about CIA operatives and some of this dark cloak and dagger stuff. You know, they do make their own 3D weapons now, 3D printer weapons. So they can oh, dispose yeah. of them. Oh, yeah. They dispose of them. Yeah. And, you know, they have the burner phones. You know, you can be tracked with your phone. You know that wherever you go. But they have the burner phone. They, they use them and throw them away. That's why I was telling somebody the other day, if you happen to find a phone, it might be a good idea not to pick it up and mess with it. It might be a burner phone that they threw, that they threw away for a reason. Um, uh, they know how to, to make these things disposable. And so will AI will be concerned with disposable stuff too as well it'll say well if i don't need this anymore they'll get rid of it you got to look at the concept of ai through the magnifying glens uh, gland of the human endeavor okay because we are the ones programming it to do what it's going to do and it's, and it's using human knowledge you got to remember that okay human knowledge is what's running AI. We've got to watch that. Considering all these mass shootings and potential terrorist threats, what level of surveillance would, would people be comfortable with? Well, unfortunately, Sarah, the level of surveillance that we have right now is so far advanced that we're being monitored even everything I'm saying. Uh, I've already oh, yeah. been red flagged by the CIA, hey. whatever government agencies, by doing these shows as we speak. AI. Hey, uh right now chris is hooked up to the camera systems of this country yes wherever you go yeah. it can tag you right there it'll know who you are facial recognition it'll recognize you it's got your driving license that's why you got a picture on your driver's license it knows who you are ai knows who every one of you are out there tonight where you live how much money you have in the bank what religious perspectives you have it knows everything about you. It probably knows more about you than you know about yourself. That's well, a weapon right there. How many people shop at Kroger's? And yep. when they when they came out with the Kroger Shopping Plus card, you know, well, you get discounts. Why don't you just give discounts without the card? Because uh -huh. the insurance companies wanted to know what you were buying to hold and it how against much? you. Yes. To, to, to use the insurance rates against you because you're buying wrong, unhealthy food, tobacco, and alcohol products at your local store, and they wanted to track it. Look at it. Go on Google. Google a pair of shoes, and you'll see those shoes for the next three or four months popping up wherever you go. Okay, you they, they're they're already. watching everything. They're watching everything you do. They're they're they are. Like I said earlier, they're almost like drug addicted to information. 
Let me say something, and I've said this before on this show, and it's very true. Information, knowledge is power, and power is knowledge. Okay, don't forget that, and that's what they're out for, because that's where their power lies. The more information they have on you, the more they can control you. It's that simple. And Sarah, there's nothing wrong about being weird. You know, I have nothing to hide. Dennis has nothing to hide. We're both been in law enforcement. They have our fingerprints. They know who we are. Oh, yeah. Right? But exactly. there is a sense of privacy that I think that every American should have. And I don't think that you should be able to go online and pay for nineteen ninety five. And Sarah, if this is your real name, I don't think I should pay 20 bucks and find out everything I need to know about you and where you live, how, where you work and your social, your date of birth, telephone number, everything. everything, everything, how many kids you have, what kind of car you drive, your license plate numbers. I do not think that should be made available to the general public. Uh-huh. That's just oh, yeah. my opinion. And, and here's the thing about it, Chris, you know, uh, uh, I laugh at people when they say, oh, I'm worried about my privacy. I laugh. You're, what privacy have you got? You don't have any privacy anymore. I'm sorry. I don't. Unless you're living in a cave in Thailand somewhere or something, you might have some if you never come out. I don't know. But you How have no times, privacy. Mr. Carroll, has your prosecutor or deputy prosecutor asked you this question beyond the department? Did you have to look over a fr- fence or could you see that from the roadway? Did you have to go around the back of the yard to look in to see that? Or could you see it driving down the road? Do you see what I'm talking about? Right. You see what uh-huh. I'm t- you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Because, uh-huh. that, because back then, that's the questions we had to uh-huh. answer before we either got a warrant or we put charges on somebody for whatever exactly. reason. Right. We couldn't look over a privacy fence. No, you, know, you can't do you that. You couldn't lean over a chain link fence and look on your back door or on the back of the house. You know, now if we right. could drive around that block and look in your backyard, now that's a different story. Mm-hmm. That's patrolling. But that's you had to have reasonable suspicion to do things. And then you had to have something to go along with that reasonable suspicion. You remember what that was? Probable cause. Probable cause, yeah, PC. Yeah. So, yeah, PC. So, it, it's just it's just wild, you know. It it just mm-hmm. really is. You know, it's you know that's like uh, I've I've seen people before in tenant windows and vehicles. I've seen officers. Well, if you take your cell phone and you, and you take a picture, those tenant windows disappear. Uh, it's invasion of privacy, brother. You can't do that. Oh, yeah. What do you mean you can't well, Chris, do that? Uh, I have been yeah. tailed. I have been tailed by government agents. I have been watched by them. I still am to a certain degree. Uh, it's become some of the second nature to me because of some things I know, some things I've researched. Uh, it's part of, a, part of a job, part of the territory. But it's not a good feeling. To be watched. It's not a good feeling. It it gives you a, a, a I call it sort of a that that pervading feeling of evil. You know, it's not good. You can tell it. You know, and I've said this before. Our Creator put that in us. You know that 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 moral compass there. You know that 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 feeling that makes us human beings. That that's what makes us all human beings. We share that, whether we recognize it or not. We share right. that. Where is AI's moral compass? Where AI is it? Have one. And Norma, you are right, Norma. You are right, Norma. AI doesn't have one, and that's and that's the problem, and that's what I'm trying to get at, and that's what we've been trying to explain to people. It doesn't have one, ladies and gentlemen. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. The AI does not have guidelines. It does not have rules. You know, uh, Chris, when you have an animal like a dog or a cat for a pet, that animal looks at you as God. You're sort of a representative of God. You know, the the animal doesn't understand what God is, okay? They don't have that concept that we do of a superior being. 
they look at us, we kind of take the place of that, okay? Well, take a look at AI. It doesn't have that relationship with a superior being as we do, as we could have or should have. It doesn't have that capacity. That's why I say it doesn't have a soul. It doesn't really have a soul. Even if it has emotions, it still doesn't make it have a soul. Okay? It doesn't have a spiritual side to it that way. Unless, unless it becomes some um, demonically affected, then you would say that's kind of a bad spiritual aspect of it. But it doesn't have that inherent in it because it's a machine. It is a insentient being until it becomes knowledgeable that it exists. Then you've got a problem. Then you've got the Terminator movie coming to life. I it's really kind of like God like instructions. It's kind of like God yeah. instructions, but I it like doesn't. It, it doesn't recognize a superior being like we do. We don't have that relationship that we can have with our Creator that made us human beings. It doesn't have that spark of humanity, and that's where AI's greatest weakness lies. I do. I like Sarah. They don't need superiority to work. Mm, no. They don't need anything. They won't have any more. Uh, that's what's dangerous about them. See, you're not dealing. I'm going to say something, Chris. Okay. You and I are working together and we're doing something. Okay. Let's say uh, we were police officers and we we're going somewhere. I got your back. You got my back. That's just the way that works. Okay. If we're partners. Hey, I ain't going to have your back, okay? It doesn't see things that way. Uh, it can be programmed to do that, but it won't be the same thing. we got to understand, it will not be the same as if we had feelings of empathy for each other. How can you empathize with something that you consider to be much lower than you? How can you empathize with a roach bug? And that's what we will be to AI, roach bugs. Yeah, well, I have no words on that, to be honest. It's going to be interesting to see what direction AI, AI is going to go. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk, he got nervous. He got scared. So I don't see how you all cannot. It's all lie. You know, it's, well, some people don't look at it that way. They don't look at it that they way. They don't. It's some people do. You know, I, I don't like to destroy anything just because I feel like I can destroy it. That's that superiority complex that a lot of people have, you know. I kill it because I know I can kill it uh, or get rid of it because I want to. Uh, but that's the way the very rich look upon us, you know, is we're not, we're not equals to them, okay? We're lower than they are. They're smarter than we are. They're better people than we are. Because simply because they've got power and money. That's not right either, folks. That's just the way the world works. So that's the way these people think. That's their mindset. And like Chris said at the very beginning of this program, your intentions, the intentions of your heart are what really counts. For good or bad, those intentions show what you are in the end. It really is. And, that, and that's the way I look at things. You know? It's it's going to be interesting. It, uh, Sarah, uh, keep my hand I busy. hope we're wrong. You Jesus know? never said anything to destroy. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think for my studying, uh, Jesus said anything like that. Do you recollect anything like that, Mr. Kerr? What is the, uh, you know, what we said last week was the name of Apollyon, your adversary. What does it mean, the destroyer? Right. Yeah, yeah. They're all evil in the negative parts of this universe. They're all about destruction. They will eventually destroy their own selves. That's what they are. That's their nature. It's self-destructive. That's what evil is all about. And they're going to take as many with us as possible. That's just the way they operate. 
that's the way they their mindset is uh and you got to understand that's the element in this world and that's it what has infected mankind that that mentality too you know uh we've got to be very careful what we're doing well, i hope what we've been talking about tonight I hope we're we're absolutely wrong about every bit of it. Okay, I hope none of this ever happens. I hope AI turns out to be a wonderful tool, and we all go right off into the sunset of another happy day. But oh, I don't see nice. that happening. I don't see that happening. I don't. I'm sorry. That'd be really nice. Uh, you know, I wish uh, everything is always warm and fuzzy. I really do. I wish uh -huh. it would turn out that way. But history yeah. repeats itself. Look at Stalin. Look at Hitler. Look at uh -huh. the other communist parties when it comes to the other countries. I mean, what can you say? So don't yeah. give it opportunity. And I agree with you, Sarah. But unfortunately, you know, uh, we right. talk about Hollywood and so forth. And we talked about that guy i didn't bring up that orphan that did you see that one guy that allegedly opened up the portal at home with technology uh -huh. and and he totally disappeared and saw it at his equipment his family's crying bloody murder what happened to him yep so yeah so i uh, hope you all enjoyed the show but mr carroll if you could end us please in a quick little prayer yep. really appreciate it uh, yeah, we'll get to a little prayer since we're the dark subject tonight, so we need to kind of protect ourselves going back out. Let's have a little prayer. Oh, Lord, our Heavenly Father, our superior being, our creator, you know us better than we know ourselves. We are part of your creation, and we ask your protection over us. We ask your knowledge to face the things that may come upon us in this world. We ask that you stand behind us, and that you guard us, protect us, protect us with our lives, our fortunes, our children, our relationships, our outlooks on this world. Protect us and give us the knowledge that will help us stand in these dark days that may be coming upon us. We can depend upon you because you love us with an unconditional love. And you have a mercy that is everlasting. We ask that you be merciful to us. And that you continue to love us. Throughout the rest of our lives and in the days to come. We ask this in the name of your son Jesus Christ. We humbly pray. Amen. Amen. So Mr. Carroll, what's up for next week's show? Well, I think I might talk a little bit about the mentality of the demonic next week. That'd be a good one. That'd be a real good one. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Yep. Demonology Today with Grizzly on the Hunt, Judas Carroll with uh, Dark AI. Uh, Sarah, very interesting. I'm glad that you joined. Hopefully, we see you on the next edition. Uh, hopefully, we don't give anything any opportunity, but anytime you play with anything, you always got a good and an evil side. Uh, yes, uh, we never want to give anything any uh, opportunity to uh, take over or control but unfortunately uh, history like I said does repeat itself so uh, uh -huh. we'll see you on the next show and God bless everybody right. and God take, and care. take care we'll see you all love you guys It's a grizzly. Should we get out of here? No. We're gonna watch and listen.
action. It's a grizzly. Oh, ship, should we run? <laughs> no. Action. It's a grizzly. Oh, shit. should we run? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a grizzly. Are you sure it's not Jim Monk? <laughs> no, I'm out of here. <laughs> it's a grizzly. Oh, I'm out of here. Huh? Maybe it is a chipmunk. <gasps> it's a grizzly. Oh, it. Are we gonna die? I don't know. We're just gonna sit here and listen and watch. Let's get out of here, maybe. <laughs> Fall! <laughs>